Hello and welcome into the second part of modules and loading modules with Webpack. So now when our project has turned into actual Node.js application, we can install modules that are specific for our application locally. So we'll do yarn add and right now we're installing dependencies that are specific for our development environment. So we'll specify dash capital D and we want to install TypeScript, Webpack and Webpack Dev Server. Cool, everything is installed and at the time of this recording the version of our Webpack is 2.6.1. The local dependencies that we have just installed are stored in two places. First in package.json we can see this dev dependencies property with TypeScript, Webpack and Webpack dev, dev server specified. Also we have yarn log file which got automatically updated. Again we don't care about updating this manually in any shape or form and this file is saved in order to have reproducible build with exact versions of everything that we have in our node modules. You can see we have quite a few modules installed at this point. In order to start with the webpack we're gonna have to create webpack config file which has exact same name webpack.config.js so let's use this config file for configuring our webpack build so this file can return both function and object literal for simplicity we will do object so we'll do module.exports equals object literal and we'll define few properties here first we have to understand that now webpack is taking care of transpiling our typescript so we'll define entry point which is source app.ts file now we'll do the similar thing for output in this case we will have file name separately which is app.js and we'll specify path to the directory where we want to output our stuff so we know it is dist folder. We also want to specify which file extensions we want to resolve since webpack is working with all sorts of files and definitely you need to understand more about webpack in order to utilize all capabilities that it gives to us but it would be a separate tutorial for webpack only. So right now we will just put the resolve reference here which takes an object. We will put extensions be an array of values. All we care about right now is .ts. Now we have to specify module property and here we will tell webpack how to load our modules. We will put some rules in here. We will tell webpack to test for regular expression. It will be looking for ts extension and when webpack finds files that are positive for this test, it should use awesome TypeScript loader. Awesome type TypeScript loader will be another external dependency that we want to install with yarn. Let's copy this name, open our terminal. We will put yarn add dev dependency and awesome TypeScript loader. Let's go back to our extensions here and what we actually have to do is to add .js also. So Webpack can do its thing on the background. We'll save this config file and few changes that we have to do to our application. So what we want to do is to have this main function to be executed right when the file gets loaded. So we will execute it right here and obviously we have to remove this thing from index.html so it does not get called twice. Now inside our package.json we will add scripts property where we're gonna have our so-called npm one of our npm scripts and scripts object will have dev server property specified which will be executing webpack dev server. Now we can have our npm run command execute dev server or just do yarn dev server. Okay, we are getting some problem here, so let's try to figure out what's going on. 
it says that we have invalid configuration object of our webpack so let's go in there and see maybe we have misspelled something so our error, error message is pretty useful so what it tells us that our output path is not an absolute path so in order to fix this what we're gonna do we will use the global variable dear name we will add this folder to it let's run it again okay so now configuration.resolve has an unknown property extensions and now after fixing extensions keyword and running yarn dev server webpack dev server tells us that our project is running on localhost 8080 so we can go ahead and open our browser on this port refresh the page so everything looks fine so far those two errors that you see right now that they, they are not related to our code it's just some safari extensions that they have installed so let's go ahead and see what is getting loaded in our browser as we see single app.js file got loaded and we see some webpack magic going on in here and all this done in order to make our code to load modules from this point we can use our import and export statements whatever way we want and our browser will be able to pick up our module loading thanks to webpack dev server typescript compiler and awesome typescript loader so let's quickly go over let's quickly go over stuff that we have learned in these two parts we understood what javascript modules are in terms of es6 also we have seen how to load our modules into the browser using webpack web, webpack dev server and awesome typescript loader Please subscribe to continue learning more about TypeScript and JavaScript in general.